Nationals hosting the Twins, and the Twins are minus 196 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 164. The over-under, 8.5 runs. The Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Ryan didn't pitch against the Nationals last year or this year. Corbin pitched once against the Twins. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They lost 3-1, to one and he struck out six. The weather in D.C. tomorrow is supposed to be 78 degrees, 8 mile an hour winds, and no rain. Head to head, the Nationals are 8 and 2. The Nationals are the home team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is 5 and 5. The favorite is 7 and 3 on the money line, and the favorite laying a run and a half on the run line is 6 and 4. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 8.5 runs is also 5-5. Five and five, And the Nationals opened up a can of whoop-ass on the Twins today, 12-3. to three. The Twins are 3-2 and two in Ryan's last five starts. The under has hit in his last two. The under is 3-2 and two in his last five. Six innings pitched, 5.2 hits, 2.6 earned runs, 5.6 strikeouts, 0.8 walks, one home run per game, 94 pitches, and then 15.6 pitches per inning. And there was one game that he didn't give up a home run, one game he gave up two. And he's given up at least one home run in his last three starts. For the Nationals, they're three and two in Corbin's last five starts. The under has hit in his last two. The under is three and two in his last five starts. Five innings pitched, six hits, 2.6 runs, two of which were earned, 2.8 strikeouts, two walks per game. 87.8 pitches and 17.3 pitches per inning. And every year you'll find a pitcher, even if they're bad, that they do go on a tad bit of a little winning streak and then they go right back to their losing weight. So we'll see, um, considering that the Nationals lost his last start, how it goes. The Twins are 2-8 and eight in their last 10, and this is the third consecutive series that they've played in a row where the team they played against had a winning record against them. They are on a seven-game losing streak. Five runs, 15 runs, seven runs, 15 runs. Two runs at a loss, four runs at a loss, two runs at a loss, three runs in a loss. For the Nationals, they're three and seven in their last 10. The under is six, three, and one. The over is hit in their last two, and they are two, four, one and five in their last six. Six runs, seven runs, 16 runs, and then 15 runs. Two runs at a loss, three runs at a loss, five runs at a loss, 12 runs in a win. I'm just going to take a shot here with the Nationals again. I'll take the Nationals with the money line. I will take the Nationals getting the runs. I'll go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.